Is the division something that's gonna be viable and that it's gonna become popular? I don't know. Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. I'm sure most of you have seen by now, maybe not, the video coming out of Brazil for the new men's wellness division, which is something that they're holding locally down there in Brazil. The Brazilians like to be innovative, that's for sure. We know they like big legs, but it seems like they're trying to move the wellness division now into the men's category as well. I spoke to some uh, people in the IFBB and uh, they kind of indicated to me that while it was fine if they want to do it down in Brazil, it wouldn't be something that we'd be seeing in the IFBB Pro League anytime soon. I don't know, you know, if it was done for shock value more than anything, but it seemed like the one person that they kind of showcased in this men's wellness division was um, slightly ambiguous, <laughs> all right? It was a very uh, feminine looking male. And I don't know if that was done purposely, you know, but you know, is the division something that's gonna be viable and that it's gonna become popular? I don't know. I don't know how many guys wanna have huge legs and small upper bodies. Uh, this person who was demonstrating these poses obviously was doing it in a very feminine manner. I don't think that if this division did even take hold in the IFBB NPC arena, that it would be obviously depicted like that. but. Uh, I think it was, like I said, I think the video was more done for shock value. And certainly everyone seems to be responding to it, but that's more than likely because it seems to be very, very boring lately in uh, the bodybuilding world. Uh, you know, no shows have really started yet. Yes, we're still, you know, forecasting and predicting and uh, breaking down what could happen at the Arnold Classic, which is going to be the first show of the year. But there's really not much else happening in the industry. So when you have news like this pop out of uh, Brazil and it seems scandalous and controversial, you know, you're gonna have people reacting to it, obviously. Um, I, I didn't really take it very seriously until I kind of texted someone who I know knows what's going on down there in Brazil. And he said, it's, it's a real thing. They're definitely doing men's wellness down there. He's like, but they're very eclectic down there. And he said, so I can see that, that flying down there. He did not see it being something that we would see in the IFBB. But then again, I don't think, you know, we ever thought wellness would be in the IFBB NPC. That was something that was said would never happen. And now it's a, it's a pretty big category. So where there's money, there's a possibility of that division coming in. I just don't think there's gonna be enough men that are gonna be interested in doing that division. I'm not a huge fan of the categories where, you know, legs bigger than upper body, just like, I mean, men's physique is different because they kind of have board shorts on covering them up. But if you're gonna show legs and upper body, I don't know. I'm not sure if that asymmetrical look is such a, an appealing, you know, category, at least not to me. I know wellness seems to be very popular because people like to look at women with big legs and big booties, but I mean, bikinis kind of that already. That's why I don't rule out the fact that this men's wellness category might not eventually make its way into the IFBB because if there is enough interest in it and there are enough people willing to pay to enter the category, they're going to hold it after all. It's all about making money at the end of the day. And if there's a category that's popular and, and the people demand it, why not hold it? I don't, I'm not against it. You know, I'm just, I, I wouldn't be a fan of it, but I understand if there was, if there was enough of a uh, groundswell and people who wanted this division that the, uh, you know, the, the organizers would have to, you know, possibly add that division, maybe even in a uh, temporary type of experimental <laughs> type of stage, see how it goes. And you never know. I just don't see a lot of men doing the division, but you never know. It could be like called the Tom Platts division, just huge legs, smaller upper body, and uh, see how big and freaky you can get the person's legs to be. I mean, it certainly would be a fetishy type of division, kind of the way wellness is. And, you know, you can dress up wellness all you want. You know, I, I like big muscular legs, but at the end of the day, wellness is really a, a, a subdivision in my mind of bodybuilding, female bodybuilding and female physique. Will wellness be something that's a subdivision of bodybuilding and maybe be like a like a freaky leg category? It could it could definitely evolve into something like that. That would be, I think, something that would be more appealing. Um, I don't know why they kind of 
made it this like ambiguous sexual uh, type of division where you're not really sure if you're looking at a male or a female. But I think, once again, I think that was done for shock value. And obviously the person entering the category, that's just the way they look. Uh, people don't realize when men's physique first started, it was a lot of guys with long hair and beach bodies. And that look what that evolved into. It's, you know, these guys are bigger than some of the bodybuilders in the upper body. So things evolve. Will the men's wellness division catch on? I don't know. And rather than have a men's wellness division where you're just kind of looking at legs, that's not really what guys really want. After all, what guy doesn't want a huge set of guns? Why not have the big arms division or the biggest arms division? Or how about just call it arms, right? I bet you'd have a million guys entering that division. Just arms, that's it. Doesn't matter what else you got. Who's got the best set of arms? Obviously you gotta be in shape too, but it doesn't really matter what else is going on. Just about the arms. I think it would be popular. Might even be one of the biggest divisions of all time in bodybuilding. And after all, who doesn't wanna see a guy with a big set of guns? Think about it. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.